everyone, today I am making uniform wash bags for workers in the NHS and care homes and also I'm, it's, there are two sizes, I've got the one for your normal uniform, so like my daughter who's a care worker, she's only a size 6 and she's just got her, her dress type top and her bottoms and a, and a top underneath that, so that's like your standard size pillowcase bag for your standard uniform and scrubs. Now the next bag I've got here is slightly bigger and is for perhaps your ambulance workers and drivers who will have a bigger uniform and kit and maybe a fleece jacket of some type as well. So they need a bigger bag to get their bigger uniforms in. So I'm doing, doing two size bags, I'm doing a medium and a large and I'll give you the measurements for those now. They are both pull string tops, like so. Okay, so the measurements for the small bag. Now I have folded my material in half for the measurements. So fold your material in half, then the first size bag is 19, no, sorry, 20 inches by 25 inches, the longer side being the top up here. Now the next size, the larger bag for bigger uniforms, is 23 inches wide by 30 inches high and this also has been cut in half first has been folded in half first and then cut to size so you don't have a seam down the one side of your bag also any off cuts that you have got you can make binding or the the string in the top with or your cord with you need a piece which is one and a half inches wide. Then what you'll do is just fold the two sides into the middle and press it all the way down. So you'll have a piece like that and then just fold that over again and press it again. And then you can stitch along the top line and you'll have a piece of cording through to go through the top of your bag. You can also use ribbon. Now this ribbon I got from Hobbycraft. You get 15 meters and it's actually quite good for tie top bags. You can also get like a cotton tape that you can also put through the top of your bag. But if you haven't got any of those and you can't get out to the shops or can't get it online in time, making your own is a very simple, easy option. So I'm gonna start with a small bag and just show you what I'm doing. Get the right way up. So to start with, I'm literally going to turn it round so you've got pretty sides to pretty sides. Line it all up nicely. And what we're going to do is start about four inches down from the top and we're going to just sew all the way around the bag on these two sides. Remember to go back and forth at the beginning and end of your stitching. So I've just stitched back and forth at the beginning and I've literally just got my material to the end of my presser foot. So it's leaving around three, three eighths of an inch just on the edge there. And I'm just going to sew all the way around the outside. Then just get to the end. Leave your needle down, swivel it round, and then carry on again along the bottom. Okay, 
Okay, so I finished sewing those two sides. Now what we're going to do is just tidy up these edges. If you haven't got any of these pinking shears, don't worry, you can just leave the edges like they are. I'm just going to just go around here. This helps with fraying a little bit, or to stop it from fraying rather. So I'll just go around the edge. You don't want to go too close to your stitching. You're just literally just trimming the slightest edge off really. And then stop when you get to where your stitching started. So you'll leave that bit straight like that because you started stitching just there. Right, now we're going to go and press this. We're going to press this, hold the bag open so your angles, your edges are like that. And you want to just iron this bit open here and then those pieces flat together. So we're going to iron it just like that. So we'll hold those pieces, the seam open. And where these bits are here, we just hold those over like that evenly together and also iron those. There we go. So now you've got your two edges that have been pressed over. We're now going to go and sew, go back and forth at the top, down here, along the square at the bottom, and just go back and forth a little bit there, and then up the other side and back and forth at the end. Now make sure you don't have the back of the bag, you don't want to sew over that, so make sure the back of the bag's all out of the way. So we're going to start on this one side here and we're going to sew close-ish along this edge here but not too close just about there look so i've just lined my material up with the side of my machine let me get that focus for you so i've lined it up with this part of my machine not the edge but that part there and my needle is in the middle position i'm just going to stitch around this now <laughs> Just everything. Make sure nothing's behind the machine or the material is puckered up in any way. So I want to just get that little bit under and so line it all up nicely. And I'm just going to go down a little bit further. Just keep readjusting it if you need to. Okay, and now that is where the opening starts. I'm just going to swivel this round. Sorry, it is a little bit difficult. We're trying to hold the camera as well. I just want to make sure it's all nicely lined up. And then I'm going to sew across. And I'm going to use my back stitch and just... Um, Go back and forth a little bit a few times over that just to make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, put my needle down. And now I'm just going to turn it round and come up the other side. So there you go, you can start to see how that's looking. And I'm going to come up this other side now. And there you go, that's the side done. And that's what that's looking like. So I've come down the one side, back and forth here, and then back up the other side. Okie dokie, so that's that done there. So now we're going to just do a little bit of ironing on the top. We're going to fold down just about a quarter of an inch and iron that round. You can just eyeball it. So I'll iron that all the way around and then we'll fold it down again to about, I 
I'd say an inch and a half or an inch. It doesn't have to be a massive bit at the top. And we were probably good on an inch and a half for the top there, which gives you a little bit of space just before the bottom, a little gap. So then we'll go around and iron that. And I'll just iron all that and then come back to you. Okay, so I've just folded around that now. I've on the top, I folded a quarter of an inch over, ironed it, and then folded an inch and a half over and ironed it. And that does leave a nice little gap just before your open end finishes. So now we're going to go and sew all the way along the bottom of this folded area. So I'm just lining this up now because I want to sew quite over to the edge. I'm just going to move my needle over over to this side so I'm just sewing right along the edge there and you need to go back and forth as well when you start sewing There you go, both of those are now sewn and I've gone back and forth on each end. While I'm on this setting, I'm just going to do the tape that will be the string for the bag. So as you can see, I've just folded it over, ironed it and folded it over again. And now, because I'm on this same setting that I've just used, like along the edge here, I'm just going to rasp this through the machine. Right, so now we've got the bag to this stage. We just need to trim off any little bits of cotton. So trim off these little bits of cotton. We don't need those on there. And any little edges right there we go so now we want to get a pin if you've got one the bigger the pin the better and you just want to pop that through the end of your either your binding anything that you're using as your cord ribbon whatever you've got to hand right there you go it really actually doesn't take long to make your own and it does coordinate nicely. I have used ribbon and um, cotton tape on other bags. I'm really kind of just using up what I've got. So you just want to keep pulling this along through. If you haven't got a pin like this, you can tie a biggish, loose-ish knot in the end and you'll be able to sort of feel that in the edging and push it along. There we go. So that's got all the way to the other end. So I'll take the pin off. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to put my two ends together and then just do a, a knot going round and under and pull that. Now if people want their bags to stay shut, you can put one of those push button toggles on as well that would hold it shut. I haven't got any of those, so I'm just doing mine like that. Um, so there you go. Turn this right way round, give it a press, and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm really, really pleased with it. It's so quick to run up. Once you've got this pattern sorted and done a few, well, you'll just do them so quick, it's untrue. Just gonna trim that little thing off there. Now, because you left a little extra gap there, it means that these hold out nicely. They fold the right way. It's um, a very quick, easy pull cord top bag. So there you go. And that's ready to send out to any care establishments around your area or any groups you might have joined to make these bags. Actually, what you may need to do is wash this bag on a 60 wash and then iron it again, fold it up nicely and 
pop it into a plastic bag. You can put the date on, maybe a message to whoever, whoever's going to receive this bag. I think they're best to be put in twos. So someone who receives it has got two bags to wash their clothes in, so they wash one, wear one, sort of thing. And um, it means it's clean and ready for them to use and wear. You could, yeah, just put, you've washed it on 60, whatever you'd like message to put on the I back. I hope you'll have a go at making some of these. There's loads of care homes in need of these, ambulance drivers for the bigger bags and paramedics and obviously all the NHS staff and all key workers, even down to people in your supermarket serving, bus drivers, everybody right now needs these bags. So please help and make some bags and um, I'll be making as many as I can and handing them out. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and thank you to all of the staff helping in this effort right now and all the key workers, thank you.